So I finally got this thing situated, so now I can finally actually drill holes very easily. So here we have the plate for the eyes now all drilled, and I'm going to assemble this. You should be able to just bolt in. This is what I came up with. I had to take these off of the side for now because I only bought one pack for some stupid reason. So I need to go back and buy a whole lot more of them. I don't know why I only bought one pack, which only has four of them anyway, but okay. So I don't really need these on the side at the very moment. So I moved them down here so that I can now put in the mouth bars like this. So I'm going to put my whole mark in here and measure it out and yeah 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 mark it about there and then that is where my hole will essentially be now let's take the tape off of this for now I can always put new tape on. So, this. Oh, that was not satisfying at all. I was hoping that would all come off as one. With the tape removed, I'm just going to fasten these on now. So, yeah, okay. Here is what the assembly looks like so far, and I love how they're two different lengths. Like, gee, great. Here's what it looks like. It looks like I will need to run out and get more of these. Maybe if I'm feeling it, I'll go tonight. It's coming together. Looking good. E er san su. Here is the progress on the head. This is gonna be a temporary back bar. I'm gonna make a different one at some point because it's just excess metal that got messed up. So anyway. Get the back and we got a key to gather. I don't know the lyrics. Okay. Hey, okay. I got the a bag of 20 of these pieces since I didn't get enough the last time. So finish up. Okay, so anyway. You gotta keep together. Why can't I just why can't I just see forever? You gotta, you gotta keep together. You know who I look like right now? I look like the woman at the orphanage in Meet the Robinsons. I hope you like the weird ass singing too. I feel like it adds character to the video, you know? Not, not many other videos have. It's just these weird ass singing as well, right? You run, but you can't hide. I'm climbing like a spider, spinning webs made of knives. I'm shining bright just like the sun. Caught in the middle, it's just the moon that I don't trust. I feel a little funny when I'm watching over everyone. Yeah, you broke the only rule, keep the lights on. I'm shining bright just like the sun. Just like the sun.
I trimmed these, so now they should be able to fit. They should be sanded and stuff as well. So, okay, let's give this a try. Just do this and then put this in here. There we go. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, but these are like two different lengths. See, this stuff just happens, and then I have like no idea how it happens. It just does, and like, yada, 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 and then it just ends up being two different lengths somehow. I'd say that'll do for now. I mean, this is going to be covered, so you won't be able to see it. It'll be like, not with that, but like, you know, it'll be covered like that. Now I could put this back. This is the right mouth bar. That should be now the same height as this one because I trimmed it. So I can put that back too now with the, wherever the screw went. Put this back in here. Here are the eyes. I sealed them with some Mod Podge, which also makes them shiny too. And right now, these are what I have as my eyelid ideas. We'll see if it ends up working. I don't know. They're slightly too big for the eyes because the eyes are two inch diameter and these I think are two and a half inch. But um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is all going to be a trial and error kind of thing so yeah all right here are my rods for the eyes uh, should just put in here here's what it looks like with the eyes on i quite like that a lot G'day, 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 and welcome back to the basement workshop. Sure, I should take advantage of when the uh, when that thing's not loud as hell. Um, anyway, thought I would show you some of the sketches that I drew yesterday that I'm going to base my assembly off of. Here is this drawing that I did of the face and head. This is the original creative engineering design. Ignore this, this was me trying to figure it out. Okay, this is the original creative engineering design where the rod isn't as long, but then it like goes down, you know? But I figured I could do the same and eliminate another step down by just having the eye rods being incredibly long and then having this, this down below. So we're gonna see how it works. It should work the same way as far as I'm aware. But yeah, this is my assembly here, so. And that reminds me, the eyes are upstairs. I'm gonna have to go get those. Okay, anyway, here, yeah, here's an isometric drawing of that. Here are the two cylinders that need to go back to back. I'm gonna probably wait on the cylinders until like the whole frame is done, just so I can at least feel like I'm not spending all my money, I suppose, I don't know. But I did do this where instead of having two cylinders, connected to the eyelids. It's gonna be a rod that connects the eyelids and there's gonna be only one cylinder. You know, save on cylinders. The only reason why you would want them to be two separate ones is if you want your character to wink. But that, I don't really need that. That's not a necessity for me. So I'm gonna try and achieve this today. We're gonna try. Who knows? I have this sheet metal here that I plan on making this mouth out of. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know what to use to cut it. I think I have something to cut that. Don't know. Here's a torso construction. I'd like to start this today too. I think I can. This I think I can do. The head is surprisingly, I feel like the most amount of stuff because there's a lot going on in the frame. There it is. Uh, but this is my 
torso construction, I suppose, of like how I'm gonna go about it, what I how I think it's gonna go, you know? So and then the waist, the lower area. So yeah, I always like to draw things out first because then I can completely it's like Lego instructions, guys. I can completely look at the drawings and just turn it into real life. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I don't know, this is still in the works. The arm is still in the works. I do think I'm gonna go with this as the way the arm's gonna bend though. I do like this concept. It's very easy, it's just two fasteners. Very easy, so we're gonna try and go with that. And I realized I'm just going to use fasteners to hold up, to mount the cylinders because I've, saw, I've seen that other people who have made their own animatronics have done that. And the mounts, if you wanna buy just the mounts, the clevis mounts, they're like really expensive, like for no reason. So it will literally cost you an arm and leg just for the clevis mounts. But anyway, oh yeah, this is a pyroraptor. Th this, you, it's not completely random because I'm thinking about making an animatronic character that's a pyroraptor called Rockin' Raptor. And she's gonna be a drummer. So this is kind of my idea here. So you can get a, little, a preview. So, um, it's going to be anthropomorphic, just like how the animatronic bands are, but I was just trying to get some concepts of the way she's going to look and stuff. I'm going to have my friends come up with more animated expressions for her and stuff because they're a lot better at drawing that than I am. I'm not really good at drawing that. So, I'm kind of going to see what they come up with or whatever. So, yeah. All right. Let's get into this. I got the holes drilled for the eyelids here. And these are what I'm going to use for eyelids now. I really want to try and drill a hole in these, but I don't want to crack them. So we'll see how that goes. That might be a little tricky. <laughs> Here's what I have so far. I made these. These are the eye turn bars. And I'm now going to create the rod or whatever it's going to be that's going to go across to connect both of them together. Right now I am just mounting this bracket on the back, which is where the eye cylinders would hypothetically go. Not hypothetically, they will, but was that even in frame at all? That's literally a joke but check that out there we go i actually brought the tripod down this time i know crazy i just realized i forgot to actually have a nut up here to stabilize the eye so unfortunately i'm just gonna have to reposition these because this nut needs to go all the way up and i put this tape here because i got advice from somebody to put tape to make the threads i guess like not hurt the um the metal hole i suppose right i simply just removed the tape that went further down and now it's just taped where it will be in the hole so yeah just to make it easier for the nut to go here let's have some nice hardware asmr i don't know okay i'm just gonna instead of time lapsing it you can listen to the sounds that it makes okay Why is this one so much more wobbly? Because this thing's in the way. Are you serious? All right, let me see if I can slightly shift it because there are shiftable arms. Oh, I should have made a statement saying that the ASMR has been on hold. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Okay, it's a joke anyway, it's a joke. Unless I actually title this video ASMR, building an animatronic. Building an animatronic ASMR. There we go, there we go, that'll work. I just have to push this all the way to the side. Why am I struggling on which way to tighten this? This is like obviously a big struggle. 
about a hundred lefts and rights later and it's back in so now this should be satisfying just like the other one yay it is love that all right back to the asmr I'm sorry, I'm just like really OCD and the letters on the boat bolts need to face nuts, I mean. The letters on the nuts need to face this the right way because I'm just I'm ridiculous, so I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice, the rest of me. For the time being, we will use this wood rod as a placeholder for the connecting bar because I don't have a piece of metal that I like to use there. So we're just, we're just going to use this. And who knows, maybe the placeholder will be just there for a long time. Hello, 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 can you hear me call for help? Hello, 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 I am really not myself today or any other day. You don't recall the way that we did in the door, and then turn a little like you. And there's a little bit of you. Tell my family that. Wait, no. It's like, tell my family and everyone we know, yeah. We're not coming back. We're not coming back, no. Count them one by one every time we saw something. We're not coming back. We're not coming back, no. Oh, oh, oh. Every other night. Oh, oh. Never try to laugh. All right, well, turns out you are able to drill holes nicely. Problem is the clamp was too strong and I cracked it. So I'll probably just glue that for now. And if I really feel like making a new one, I can, but like, it doesn't look that bad from the front, but like, this is the clamp that did this, it cracked it. But look at, I do have holes. Yeah. All right, let's give these eyelids a try. Now, I really want to be able to put the screw in from the inside and then put it on, but the issue is the eye's in the way. Now, you're probably saying like, oh, you can just remove the eye. I can, but I don't really want to. You see, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, that's just a lot of work that I don't feel like doing, so. I guess for now, it's just gonna have to be like this, which is utterly annoying. But, um, of course I gotta find the hole. It's just gonna have to be like this for now. But they work incredibly well, I'm honestly surprised. These are just these Christmas ornaments that you can get. These are two and a half. And I thought the two and a half was gonna be too big, but actually, it's perfect. Which is interesting because I you do want some wiggle room. Like I genuinely thought the two and a half was gonna be a bit too big, and I was like, oh, wish they had something a tad bit smaller. But this looks pretty okay to me. This looks really good to me, actually, not just okay. So, and that's so smooth. That is incredibly smooth. And then my my eyes are incredibly smooth as well. So I'm gonna get. This attached, this is going to be my temporary or permanent, who the hell knows. I don't think it's going to be going through that much stress, so for all I know it could be permanent, because all it's going to do is attach here. Oh, oh my god, can I finally use these small screws? I got these small screws thinking I was going to use them throughout the whole head, but then didn't realize that they're literally too small and can't be used for, like, anything. The eyes now turn with each other. This is so satisfying very happy with how this turned out although 
I really want to put the eyelids on. Like, is there absolutely no way that I can put these on this way? No, see, you know, if I'm feeling really annoying, I could disassemble this. But at that point, shouldn't I just take the eyes off themselves? Like, I think that's, like, stupid. I gotta convince myself to take the eyes off and do it this way. Oh, boy. Yeah, is it annoying? Very much so. But at least now these can go on like this. Look at that. But now you know what I'm going to have to try and figure out. Is I'm going to have to make sure these can go through. See, this this might be a big dilemma. This might be a really, really big dilemma. Okay, I think I figured something out that will work, I suppose. I put a bolt on here with... Okay, here. Here, let me actually show you. I'll put a bolt, I'll put a bolt here so that I can now put this here. And then screw this bolt on the outside of the eye. And this, at the very least, makes it to where the screw can't come out. Look at that. Like, I somewhat fixed my problem. Um, and then I can move it to however far I want the screw. And then this one, I'm just going to put the bolt on this side. I think that'll, I think that'll work. That'll give me the best of both worlds. Have one that's like really, really secure here. And then this one. If this can't slide out because this bolt is stopping, or this nut, my bad. This nut is stopping it from moving out. It should stay for the most part. So yeah, we're going to give it a try. I'm just so thrilled to have to put it all back. We love this. That's what this whole project has been so far anyway. So time lapse. We are assembled. We now have eye turn. This can be a little tighter up here. And then I do have that tape that you can't see that's like in between here. This I'm gonna have to fix this rubbing. Um, and this is still the tightness here is a little not great because the eyes aren't the same facing the same way they're a little crooked i recentered the eyes so now they should be looking the same way the whole time it's, they should be um i gotta probably work on this screw to try not to scratch my beautiful eyes guys if you want to make an animatronic giant beads what may work amazing for eyes like yes you can 3d print eyes yes you can probably do other stuff but you can't tell me that these two inch diameter beads that you would find in the wood craft sections of hobby lobby aren't amazing looking and a coat of mod podge makes them shiny so just a recommendation and also the Christmas ornaments have proven themselves to me to be really good, apart from this one cracking, but you really can't see. I don't know what color I'm going to paint these eyelids yet, because I don't know who this is going to be yet. I don't know if this is going to be my original character, or if it's going to be someone from the Rockafire. I'm not sure. Uh, I want to make Duke from the Rockafire, but this animatronic isn't going to have Duke's mechanism, because this one's going to be a standing up animatronic that's similar to the way Mitzi works so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna do this mouth bar because the problem i'm having with wanting to do this mouth bar is i was thinking of just using a four by four inch l bracket but the issue i'm having is drilling a hole right here in the middle so that i can attach you can always try and hold it with the clamp 
but the problem is resisting torque is really difficult with the drill. So like, yeah, the drill press right here, I can try to hold it with the clamp and then have it like this, but the torque is really strong. So I don't know if that is a good idea or not. So we'll see. Plus this is steel and not aluminum. So this is not as easy to drill into. just saw I'm a bad influence just thought I'd put that PSA out there the hole is nowhere near the center where I originally marked but nonetheless it is still a hole and it did not break the piece so we're just gonna go with it because it just needs to do that thing and I don't think it's going to affect it too much if it's kind of lopsided here I honestly didn't even think I was gonna get a hole so we're gonna go with it now let's put this L bracket on here. This is a four by four inch L bracket. I said that already, but in case you needed a reminder, I'm going to, all right, I'm gonna put this on like this. I'm going to put a nut. Oh wait, let's do it so that the camera can see it. Okay, all right, putting a nut here. It's really hard to show it. Okay, there we go. A lot of nuts. I'm using a lot of threaded rods because I know that threaded rods can, um, I drilled a slightly bigger hole because apparently it was a little too small. All right, let's try this now. Ah, so much better. All right, let me get it in a view to where you can see it. There we go. Looks about good. Oh wait, I need to get the other, the other nut on. This is a whole process. It's a whole ordeal. Oh, where are those nuts? I don't know. Oh, here they are. I'm like, and once this is twisted on, twist on, twist on. There we go. Twist, twist on. Now I can put this all the way through. Position this in the middle. I want this centered. And then I want this here. Just like that. That looks pretty good. Right, there we go. That is amazing. Couldn't be happier with that outcome. What I'm gonna do now, also I just realized that's really creepy because it's looking at you, is I have this extra fastener here, so I'm just gonna use what I got for now. This works perfectly, but who knows if I'll change it later or whatever, but I'm just gonna do this so that I can have the mount to where the cylinder is gonna connect to it. Um, this is gonna have to eventually be disassembled though so that I can make this a 3 8 hole but I'm like really not in the mood to do that today so because I already did that with the like, three other ones so I'm just gonna assemble it right now just so that I can feel good you know and then I can always disassemble it later all right hold on I got to get a wrench so that I can tighten this There we go. And there we have a mouth lever for right now. So I shall give you, I guys, I guess I can give you a tour of what I have so far. And I'm pretty proud of where this has come so far. So I've gotten a majority of it done that I am really happy about getting a majority of it done. Um, That's probably going to have to be recentered to where it's able to look more.
to the left it's not really able to look to the left that much so i repositioned the eyes to where now it can look left a bit more i feel like it just wasn't able to look very left the last time i mean it's easy to reposition them it's just you have to tighten them again but yeah so the eyes move together i decided to do this because I realized if I wanted to do the cross eye thing that Beach Bear and Looney Bird have, where they each have one of these single, they have one of these single things here that the cylinder connects to on, on both sides of the head, opposed to a connection point in the middle, then it can only cross eye. But there is a way around that if you want it to be able to do everything else. You would just need either two pancake cylinders attached on the side here back to back or you would need two cylinders just attached to each other it just yeah you can make it work but i figured i don't really need cross eyes that badly and this is fine to me so either way you're gonna use two cylinders unfortunately so it's not like you reduce it's not like you reduce your cylinder usage but yeah i'm pretty proud of how smooth this is that's really smooth and depending on depending on the tightness of that. I like that. I like that. I don't think that looks too bad. And then hopefully these are staying centered. Like, I tighten them really, really tight. So hopefully they're staying centered. I don't know. I would, I would hope so. I mean, they might look like a little weird. I don't know. Uh, here's the eyelids. I came up with a... Plan B, Plan C, Plan D, I don't even know how many attempts this took, but found out that you can through you can drill through plastic, which is really nice. And I have one screw or one bolt going out way out this way and then the nut fastening on the end. And then I decided to just put a nut on the inside of here because there's no way to get the lid on and the eyes at the same time. It just doesn't work unless you do it this way, unfortunately. Or unless you completely disassemble the eye, which I'm not going to do because they are fixed to the rod. I fixed them to the rod, which simply just hot gluing them to the rod. So yes, they're technically not permanent, but you can get away with fixing things like that as long as the cylinder isn't actually directly making contact with it because the cylinder is never going to touch the actual eyeball itself. So it'll be fine. Here is, the eyelids are very smooth as well. I'm hoping that there's gonna be no rubbing. If there's gonna be rubbing, at least it won't be on my pupil because my pupil is the most important part of the eye, but I still don't want rubbing at all. Let me know in the comments what color you want these eyelids to be. They're just, I painted them white for now so that way I can put any color over them nicely but I can show you that. Probably in the next video, I am going to connect these together like how I had in my drawing, and then I'm gonna hopefully finish the sidebars of the head here because I don't actually have any more of this three quarter inch flat bar, which I wanna get more of because I only have one and a half inch flat bar now. And that's a bit overkill, if you ask me, for the head frame. I think that's way too wide. Like, let me show you how wide that is. This is overkill. That's overkill. I might use it for, I might use it for the base. I'll probably end up using it for the base where it'll eventually connect to the neck and body. But, but for these side pieces, absolutely not. It's ridiculous. Also, I got the mouth bar on. I'm very happy with this because I didn't think this was gonna happen today, but it just is making the head all the more complete. And then I can get cylinders for this. I forgot I also have to, I have to do this back bar that arches kind of like this. And then the cylinder that controls the mouth mounts like up here when the bar's there. I also have in place this for the cylinder mount That'll be for the diagonal, the diagonal across like that cylinder. 
very happy with that. And then I will do my attempt at the sheet metal thing and like cut out a semicircle here. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the progress today. That's what I got for you. And stay tuned for part three.